because as you dig around it, the post has just fallen apart. Oh, it's a killer. Yes, wet, damp, moist, and suctiony. Bad boy. This is what we're dealing with. We've just had yeah, a retractor blade pull slider back to retract the blade. Well, blades retract the drive. Eject the magazine. Oh, ho, ho, ho. what were you saying? Back up, back across, all the way around, back done. I don't want any issues with sinking or anything later on. Why do I, why do our vlogs always go to like a PG at least? Um, and he's like, oh, Michael. And I'm like, how do you know me, bro? <laughs> Done. Guys, what is going on? It's Monday. Um, you've probably seen the other video I've put out that we've been just struggling. How well are you? Out. We're on a fence today. Something a little, it's not a little bit different for no, us, but enough. all the all again we've done now, uh, we do quite a few of these. We've got it's mostly a panel replacement, so we're just taking the panels out and putting them back in, but we've got a couple of bits here. Sorry, Ryan. <laughs> Customer wants um, two more gravel boards there to bring it up to the same height, to bring the gravel board part up to the same height as there. Replace, replace, replace. Then we're replacing this post because it's got a big crack down it. Replace the panel, place the panel, panel. Another post to replace. I'll give you a hand in a sec, mate. Yeah, falling apart. Got to get the priority straight. Uh, replace this panel this panel and then something a little bit different here for these last two i don't know if we're going to be able to film this bit because there's not a lot of room but we're we're going to take this post is pretty much gone so we're taking that post out taking the other one out and instead of putting gravel boards and panels back in we're just doing gravel boards all the way up because customers said they get a lot of wind down here so i'll set you up now because we're going to get we're a little bit late today so we're going to get we've got to get straight on it We've left them two at the end for now. We're gonna try and get on getting all these done first. I don't wanna bite off more than we can chew. So we'll get this uh, this post. What we're gonna try and do with this one is it's got a bit of a lean. There's nothing wrong with the actual post. It's got a bit of a lean on it. So we're gonna try and just save it if we can. Um, dig around it, move it, post it back in. But what I've said to the customer is, hey, look, if we can do this, it'll be one price. If we need a new post, you just got to pay for a new post. So we're going to try and save the post if we can. But if we can't, it's going to have to be a new post. But you've got to set the expectations ahead of time of the options that we've got. Where's the long bar? Yeah. <coughs> With these concrete ones, I would have thought they'd all been concreted in. It'll be good if we get these two done, these two first ones done, because these two are the ones that are a bit of a pain for in terms of getting to them and access. Is there enough room for me down the back? Oh, no,
Oh, that was a lot. Oh my goodness, what a day it's be what a day it's become. That we were on that post for three hours. There was all sorts in the hole. Gravel boards are bedded right in because next doors is lower than here. We had to take all of them out. We've put the panel in and you'll see the panel is a little bit too high. Nothing we could really do about it. I know people in the comments will say, oh, you should have dropped the gravel boards down a bit. Um, that one over there is encased by the concrete of that post. That one over there is encased by the concrete of that post. And last thing, last thing I wanted to do was break the concrete for them two posts and then have them flopping around all over the place like this one in the middle was. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to take the panels off, take the panel off. We're going to take the rail off the back, off the bottom, cut half an inch off the bottom, put the rail back on and then slide it back in, do it on both of them. Um, this is just like more of a, this isn't a fence install, this is a repair job. So Ryan's on, we've got, I've already cut them two down for there, same situation with them again, where they're too high for where they are, but it's one of them when it's a panel replacement, you know, we're just replacing what's already there. Ryan's down here digging this hole out. So in this main run, there was that one to do, one here, and that one to do i've already put the panels in that we could out of the way you've already seen me put whoop, you've already seen me put that in the uh, uh gravel boards there um and ryan's took this one out and the the, the post just fell apart the whole thing crumbled so we've had to cut the end off it and we've still got two foot of the post in the ground there and there's not a lot we can and then we're just having to dig it out I was hoping to get all this done today, including that bit over there. And it's just ended up we spent way too much time on that first one trying to save the post. We couldn't even save the post. We've had to put a new one in anyway. And I've still got to climb back over because we wanted to make sure that it was all solid. We put a post up just to secure it while the concrete went off. Uh, oh, and that was another thing down here. This gravel board moved and we had to dig a trench down here to be able to pull the gravel boards back in. It's just... Um, I see it all the time on this is a bit different this is a it's a referral we did some work for the um daughter and son-in-law a couple of weeks ago and i see these posts on facebook all the time that are like oh can someone come and replace one fence post and i used to go and do it and i stopped doing it because of this because you think to yourself oh it's only one post the post itself 15 20 quid two bags of post creep that's a tenner you're up to 30 quid max you know and let's say it's going to take you let's say we pay you 40 or 50 quid to do it like it no no because it takes so much time we've had to rent this breaker as well i fancy buying one of these actually they've done a really good job but then by the time you've rented one of these as well or if you own one like you've still got to maintain it and people don't think about them things but it's just one of them things so i think the plan now I've got to pop off and do a quote. Ryan's going to get this hole dug while I do the quote. <laughs> Ryan's going to get these things done. Or he'll get this hole dug out while I do the quote. Um, I think we're going to leave that one and them two till later because now it's chucking it down. So I don't know how much more filming. I'm going to have to get. I'm going to have to get a little. Uh, I don't know if you can get them, an umbrella for the for the tripod. Oh, John, so a tripod umbrella. No, uh, Jeff. Manufacture one. Do you remember those old hats that you've seen, like 70 films, those umbrella films? <laughs> yes, I'll I do. Just stick that on top of the tripod, job sorted. <laughs> Shall we get one each? 
Why do I need one? I ain't a tripod. Because it's raining, it keeps dry. So what about the rest of my body? You'll have to get wet. I don't know. There's no, <laughs> I thought I was going to say something really clever and there's nothing to say. <laughs> right, I'm going to do my quote, leave Ryan to dig that hole out and then um, I'll meet him back here and we'll try, we're going to try and get that section done and get them two panels cut down if it doesn't start properly because it's getting harder and harder now. Right, so we're coming towards the end of the day of the job in Hina. Um, we've had a few... A few little bumps in the road that slowed us down, but we are getting somewhere at the minute. I've just got to cut down the post that is going in this lovely hole. Get another gravel board on top of there. Four foot panel. Fill this back up with gravel boards, put some panels in, and then just put the panels back in for tonight. And then tomorrow we're going to come back, put the gravel board wall in here, replace two posts, um, as you can see, Michael's still on his quote, but no, he's on his way back, he's stuck in traffic, so that's a wrap for today then, and uh, we'll see you in the morning. This is what we're dealing with. We've just had, yeah, it's just four. It's all cracked up here. That's all about to fall off. Watch is your head when you do this bit. Nothing wrong with it. I'm just really strong. This is the same issue we've had all morning and yesterday because, you know, digging a concrete post out, it's not, drop my pencil, Stop. not an easy job. It's all just falling apart. Lovely. We've had the same issue over here because usually you just dig the concrete out from around the post. We had the same issue when we did that one, that one there, because as you dig around it, the post is just falling apart. So you can't even lift the whole post out. So a couple of them, it's cracked and snapped. We've had to cut it and then try and get the post with the rebar and the concrete around it. It's took like three times longer than we planned to. Let me show you where we're up to. So we've got extra gravel boards in there and two more panels in, cut two little ones. We've replaced that post. This, uh, no, we did that yesterday, last night in the dark, pretty much. Because we didn't realize next door I had a dog. So she came out and said, oh, well, the fence will be back up today. So we had to make sure we put that, we weren't gonna bother with it, chucking it down and being dark, but we had to do it. So we've put that, that, that one in, that one stayed. We've just done that one. All we've got to do is wait for that post. No, it was that one. All we've got to do is wait for the post to go off and then we've got another gravel board and a panel to slide in. We're done now up to there. And then over here is where we're putting the gravel board wall in. Putting the gravel board wall in here. We can't get that concrete post at the bottom. There's just no way with this greenhouse here. Very little room and there's slabs for the greenhouse. I think the plan is we're gonna take that off and build some sort of frame to go around the gravel boards at the end. I'm not exactly sure how we're gonna do it yet, but it's not looking very likely that we're gonna get that post out without smashing this greenhouse up. So we're gonna try and avoid it if possible. I think we're gonna cut it off at the end. We're gonna replace this one. That one we're gonna cut off at the end and then we're gonna put some timber on the wall like a wall plate type thing, but I'm gonna build it out of something a bit bigger because it's got to hold six gravel boards back. Let's see how we get on with that. Little update for you. <laughs> Little update for you. <laughs> <laughs> Little update for you. It's been uh, another hard day today. We're finally getting somewhere. We're nearly finished. Got to get the panel on the gravel, the gravel board and the panel. That post will be well off by now. All that's done. Um, I can't really struggle to share this bit with you because there's nowhere to set the tripod up. But this has definitely been one of the harder parts of the day. We've got um, one more to put on here, two more that side, 
and then we've just got to bolt it all on at the other end but it's been a i wanted to share this bit with you but there's just not enough i can't i can't put the tripod in someone else's garden it just looks weird so i've not been able to share this but we're going to get this last bit in and then i'll give you a little show when we're finished of everything we've done but it's been a hard one and we're all finished guys let me show you what we've done i'm so tired from them gravel them gravel boards were a lot let me show you what we've done a couple of extra gravel boards in there two new panels small bit small bit we changed that post then we changed that post and we changed that post as well all new panels in and then down here we've done the gravel board wall I know what a lot of you are going to say, you're going to say in the comments, keyboard warriors saying that the posts are too high, castle tops and all of that. With, it's just a panel replacement, like it's just a panel replacement, it's not a whole new fence. So we're dealing with half of this fence is staying exactly as it is and we're trying to work with it. So some of them down there are not castle tops and the panel actually meets the top of the post and some of them are. So we've tried to made like... I was here we've tried to leave a bit above so it kind of matches this one you know and then you've got this one that's too high up here and you know all that kind of thing it's it's not ideal and then a lot of these we could we have no uh the gravel boards on here haven't been moved it's only them ones so we couldn't do anything about the heights here and when the customer just wants a panel replacement they want a cost effective repair that still looks good you know, I can I can already hear it in the comments now. Oh, you should only ever do a full replacement. You should only ever do a proper job. But when the customer just wants something that looks a bit nicer, that's secure, this is this is the proper job. I see it on loads of other fencing companies' videos where people say, you know, like up here, look. I said to the customer, I'll take them both out and I'll cut them down a bit. Because to me, they're a little bit too high. And he said, oh, no, no, because I, I don't mind. It looks it looks good. So, you know, if he says he likes it, we'll leave it like that. For me, I'd cut them, I'd take half an inch off both of them. But he said he's fine with it. So as long as the customer's happy and we're happy that we've done, that we've done a good job and we've done everything we can, that's all you can ask for. So Brian's just put, excuse me, putting the last couple of bits in the truck. And we're done for today. Let's see what tomorrow brings. I'll see you tomorrow. What's going on? Papa Smurf is in the house. We've got Papa real Smurf is in the house. <laughs> Wait, look, look what we've got today. Watch. We got lovely, lovely coffee. Nice coffee. And yeah, look, look what the customers left us. What? We've got a whole kitchen going on out here, like a bakery type situation. I didn't leave Ryan the tripod this morning, so he couldn't film anything with the time lapsing. Dig out is taking way longer than it should be because of, well, it's just so, everything is just so drenched. If I'd realized it was gonna be this way this morning, I wouldn't, I would have just come, I would have just not bothered today. Um, but we didn't know until he started digging. And now he's walking over. It's bringing all the, it's bringing all the water up as he's, as he's walking wheelbarrowing over. It's bringing all the water up. Now we're already here. We may as well get, get it dug up and try and get it stoned today. Um, but I think we're going to try and get on a time lapse for getting some of the stone out down and getting the rest of the dig out done. But it's a, uh, it's not a nice day today. Right, so we're ending towards the end of the day. Uh, we're not that far ahead, to be fair. We're only just starting really to get a stone out. We'll have a look what we've been going on with. So, after a long day digging, we finally got it out. We're coming up to like what four o'clock now. So, as you can imagine, it's been a really long dig out. It never takes this long to do a dig out, but with the weather. We didn't really realise it's going to be like this all day. Should have really done a weather check, but 
it's done now, it's done. Um, we're about to dig a little trench, just to try and get some of the water out. You won't believe it, but that's about six inches deep and it's filled instantly. That's been, I've dug that about five minutes ago. So here we are. We're just going to get some more stone down just for a little bit. We've got to call it soon because we've got to go sort the unit out from yesterday's stuff, all the concrete. We've got to get it all ready to get shipped off tomorrow. Uh, that's it for us today. We'll um, take some more videos and whatnot tomorrow and uh, see you later in a bit. So here we are, day two of the job in Colic. Um, it's not really improved overnight. It's still quite waterlogged, as you can see. It's still a nice little bit of a nice puddle for us, really. A little bit of a squilty squilt. It's going to be a bit of a challenge, but as you can see, it's all getting marked out. Things are underway. We're starting to see how it's going to start coming together. I made the mistake of putting the stone in there yesterday, not thinking. And the stone there yesterday, also not thinking. So they've got to come out this morning. I'm going to get the rest of this stoned up. Um, we'll take a few videos and whatnot. We're going to show you how it looks. Hopefully it goes right, but you'll, you'll know just as soon as we do if it don't. Good afternoon, morning, afternoon. I don't even know what time it is. Is it before two? It's about 12, it's somewhere around 12. We're back on the job and my nightmares are being relived. My nightmares are being relived again, it, like every day. So we come back this morning and here, look, I'll show you all this. That is just like water sat on the top. No good very wet garden here it's all on clay and the clay is quite high up here look yeah look what oh, is on it's all very damp very moist and there's a lot of suction involved in what's going on right now gardens are too wet <laughs> you can't keep throwing those words into the same sentence yes wet damp Moist and suctiony. You like that? Sounds that? like a screen play. You like that? <laughs> fifty shades of artificial breath. Yes, this is fifty shades of suction and moist. <laughs> <laughs> why do I, why do our vlogs always go to like a PG at least? <laughs> right. So basically, what what we've had to do, I've told the lads that there's, there's just no, there's not really another way of doing it. We're gonna we're gonna dig a land drain down here. Chuck it in the planter, Ryan. Oh yeah. <laughs> right. Um, so we're just we're starting to dig it out. He's got a rough a rough area for it. We're just going to skim it all out now. We're building up a bit more stone at the back. Um, but it, this is what we've had for the last two weeks. It's just it's a nightmare to actually get anything done. This is why we've missed two vlogs because I'm even looking at this now. Once we put this land drain in at the end. A lot of this is still too wet to compact. It just needs to dry out. We got soaked yesterday. So I think what we're probably going to end up doing is we're going to finish this sleeper planter across here. We're going to finish this off. Fill it up with the soil because we've got soil on the truck. Maybe get some stone for this drain. I need some clean stone. I don't really like using pea gravel for something that big because it doesn't compact very well. So I think I'm gonna end up having to find some 40, 40 mil clean. And then the rest of this base is gonna to have to have another layer of stone over it just to give it some, some depth for the water to fall. So, Ryan, what you reckon? Can we get a, can we get a, screen, a time lapse? A time lapse, yeah. Of what? Um, it's a bit late now, it's all dug out. It's, well, there's still a bit to do. There's just a clean up there's, there, right? I mean, like, we've got massive clean up task on here as well customer put the um these plastic boards out for us so which is nice but obviously the mud still oversteps and we've ripped a little bit and gonna just have to clean up any mess that we've left right 
feel like we're actually getting somewhere. So we've brought another couple of ton of stone in to get levels right and lift it up a little bit. I don't want any issues with sinking or anything later on. Um, we've got the trench, trench dug out. We're going to fill that with some clean stone. So plan is now we're going to get this rake out. We're going to give it a compact and see how well it goes, see how wet it is, and if it does it all. I'm going to see if there's a place. I'm going to see if um place around the corner does clean stone to fill this gap in. Hopefully it does. Plant is all done. We're just a little bit short on the topsoil. We're going to have to grab a little bit more. Um, but it's all looking... Are you happy with that, Rai? It's looking naughty. Yeah, it's a lot better than this one, isn't it? I reckon this is actually compact now. I'm not I'm not sinking anywhere. You know, sometimes it's what you got to do. It's... Um, yeah, because there's nothing going down there anyway. Yeah. But well, we've brought another two ton in of stone. Um, we're doing all in an all in quote, so I'm not I'm not going to charge the customer for the extra two ton of stone. Um, but sometimes you just don't know. Um, I was planning this size was going to be four, maybe five ton. We brought six in. We're going to need another one as well on this. But I'm happy with it. It's looking it's looking good, and it's looking like we might actually be able to. I think it will probably be Monday to come back and finish this. But it's all looking, it's all looking very tidy. Say that again. I'm hoping one one day, one more day after today, and have it all done. Morning, guys. What's going on? The lads went to go and do a small install. Well, it was 60 square meters, um, but it was just fitting the grass itself for another another trader. Um, He's done all, he did all the base work and all the prep and everything. We were just coming to fit the grass. But the lads turned up and everything's just soaking. Everything's just soaking wet. We needed to run the compactor over the stone again because the customer's dog's been out. Couldn't run the compactor because it's too wet. So they've had to drive all the way. That was over in Mansfield. They've had to drive, I don't even know what that is, 10, 15 miles all the way back. Couldn't do it. So we're getting back on this one in Colic that you saw yesterday. Just trying to do, we're, we're trying to get to the point where everything is done except for the grass itself, because I don't think we're gonna fit the grass into today. I'm about to go and see them now, so let's see how they're getting on. How's it going? All right there, sir. It's a bit of a messy one. Oh, yes. Even with the boards down. What a mess to yeah. clean up. What a mess, what a mess. I've just finished loading the van when he says we need more topsoil today. We do need more topsoil today. It's just if we can't, what happened this morning? Hey. What happened at the job this morning? Oh, mate, not a lot. Was, yeah, nothing, <laughs> it was sodden. It was all too wet. Stand on it, sunk. It needs to re go over. It's got a lot of track lines and whatnot. Yeah. So he made the call of maybe leaving it until another day. Yeah. Excellent. Another job not finished <laughs> another job turned up not done it's just like it's it's driving me crazy let's see where we're at in here this is looking good a little bit of granite down right these are going in here inside the planters planters look good we need cleaning up a little bit we need to put a bit more soil in there so the lads are going to go and pick up another soil for topping that up and then on top we're gonna have a we're gonna put the other soil in get these plants in um weed membrane and then the customer's got some blue slate chippings that's gonna go on top train well that's a longer one again i love trains there's another train that is a long one crazy back to business weed membrane going in here as well and then blue slate in here to go around the tree and then i believe yes the customer wants that blue slate in here as well it's always hard to know whether we've got enough or not i just say grab 20 bags we'll see how we go um but basically i think it's this i think it's similar to this this might be i think that's plum slate and i think he's got blue 
we've got blue so it's a slightly different color to what's in there um but yeah we just basically we, we want to get to the point on this install where it's just the grass left so we're going to finish a plant i finish down there finish down there get the granite on ideally if we can do all that today it looks like they're having a hard time compacting again it's all you know as you compact you push the stone down the water comes up oh my goodness i just can't get anything done right what are we getting we're getting one more soil to put in there a ton you reckon that the plant has swallowed a ton and a half no problem yeah i'd reckon another ton we can get rid of it at the yard if not we can use it somewhere else decent <laughs> A fatal mistake was made. We should have put tarps down before we put the boards down, but we didn't. Lesson learned for next time. We just put the boards down and thought, oh, I'll be all right with boards. And then when it rains overnight on the boards and it all comes off the boards and balls in the gaps. Well, the customers lent us with jet wash, so we appreciate that. It'd be a lot easier over Christmas to clean up. Not very often we're putting soil in, we usually take it out. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just filling up all this plant now. A bit more topsoil in there, get it up to height. Took the plants back out for a sec, and then once we've got these in, we'll put the plant, rest of the plants back in again. So the lad's going to finish off with this planter, this bit over here. Excuse me. And that little bit down there. And we're gonna come back and granite and grass it because it's just, it's still too soggy to run the compactor over. And it's driving me crazy. I just want, really wanted to bring you a vlog this week, but we just can't get anything done. It's driving me mad. So I don't know how long this one's been, but I imagine it's been a shorter vlog. I haven't edited, obviously, at this moment in time right now i haven't edited it yet but if you've enjoyed it if you want to see more like this and if you want to see next week where we might actually get some work done click the subscribe button and the bell notification so you're one of the first ones to see it thank you for watching and see you next time i'll see you next time you're still recording <laughs> yeah this is what you do to me all the time i'll see you next time and then it'll be on the vlog no i'll say you need to see you next time
video this morning. Let's see what the guys are up to after I've got here. Oh baby, good day. That looks good, doesn't it? That looks really good. So, I can hear you saying to yourself, Michael, where have you been? The lads have been here, working hard, getting, uh, getting all the grass done, getting everything finished. Where have you been? I've been running around all morning looking for this 6B1 in green, because everybody does it in brown, nobody does it in green, but I needed it to match the sleepers. The customer's put lights in the back. He's already put them in. So Timber's going to go on top and then he's putting some lights on the front as well. It's going to look amazing. He sent me a picture last night of what this side looks like. So I'm excited to see what it looks like on a night time. Man's come back with presents. Not that. That's just a stick. And some wire. Ryan, question. Yes. Question for you both. Question of the day. What dessert product is esteemed in Instagram's heritage? Brookies. Brookies. And what shop notoriously sells the brookie? Co op. What other shop notoriously sells the brookie? The Coke side, yes. Sainsbury's. Sainsbury's. Oh, I got it. Look, have a look at that. Ooh. That's like a fancy brookie. Are you that feeling ain't bad those, because. That ain't it, no standard brookie. Is this because you feel bad that the customer's been treating us like kings? No. No? No, he's just, just showing where he's got it for because... himself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got, you got your one each. Oh. A brookie, but there's more. There's, there's more. more. Here's a brookie. Oh, I can see something sexy right there. I can see something naughty right there. What on earth is that? A reloadable knife. What? Yeah, I just found it in B&Q. It's um, Quick Eject Magazine. It got me excited. You realise I'm going to be stood so around like pretending I'm in the army. You realise this, don't you? It got me so excited. Wait, do I get a patch with it? No. Oh, I'm going to have to make Let's a holster. Let's do uh, a reveal. Unbox. Ooh, it looks like a proper magazine, magazine, doesn't it? That's mad. I really hope it's got that. Chick, chick. <laughs> <laughs> then I'll hold the magazine. Try and do an unboxing over here. I love it when you can open a tool, a box for a tool without needing another tool to open it. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. How's it feel though? How's the hold? What's the grip like? Is it going to be good for cutting in? Unsure what's. Instru it's got instructions. Retract blade, pull slider back to retract blade. Well, blades retract the drive. Eject the magazine. Oh, ho, ho, ho. What, what are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wait, Mark! Train! Oh, I love trains. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay, so apparently you can fit, refill this. It's got five blades in it. This is the most complex knife I've ever seen. Oh, right, so you could load half of it with hook blades and half of it with straight blades. Oh, okay. And tell it which one you want on the back, and it will just shoot that one out. That's, I think. That's pretty clever. I think. Right, that one's got hook blades. We're not really a big fan of hook blades around here. We might give them a go. I got a Huel instead of a Brookie. I wanted chocolate, but they only have vanilla. It's still very nice. Oh, vanilla's the best. They have had Huel. It's the second most expensive spice in the world. Did you know that? What's first? I don't know. And we got a nice little coffee. Oh, got a protein. Show us your coffee. Oh, look at that. I keep getting this. This is like a magic mug where it's a mug within a mug. It's like mug inception. <laughs> Customers treat us really well here. They have been, We've had, what have you had? You've had? 
we brownies. Brownies. We've brownies. Had a couple of little sweets. He's given us some sweets. Some Polish chocolate bars to try. So the customers from um, originally from Poland. So there's some po Let me show you actually, because I just asked him. For, <laughs> I actually just asked him for something as well. So we've had. We've got these um, Polish. Uh, what would they be like? Wafer. Chocolate wafer, I something nuts and along there. You got chocolate eclairs this morning. You got eclairs, and then and then yeah. I saw these on the side the other day, and I asked, I just asked him about. Them. I was like, can I have one? Polish um Polish lager, um Perla. I'm probably not saying that right. Probably not. I'm probably no, not worms, not pronouncing it right, but he's, they've croissant. treated us really really well. Quas yeah, chocolate croissant. Um, Donuts. Coffee all day, and this is like this is this is real good coffee, real good coffee. I think we might have been treated too well. Noel does enjoy a little coffee. <laughs> Do you know? What? I'd rather have one. I'd rather have this than a Starbucks or a Costa any day. Bro, one any day of the week. I'm gonna have to show you. Gonna like, there's no, there's no syrup, nothing, no flavour. Like, it's just coffee is coffee, isn't it? Oh, you got yourself a case. This is why we got time lapses today. He risked his phone the other day. I put my brand new phone on the line for the company, you see. Let's have a look. Very nice. Oh, you can still see the grey. He's like, oh, look, I want it to be protected, but I want everyone to know I'm, uh, I'm an Apple, Apple fanboy. I'm thinking of a separate show, like Coffee with Mike. What are you going to talk about? I'm going to no talk about, like, interesting. Maybe I will. The whole thing. Maybe the whole clip will go on. So I've got to relive this when I watch it. Yeah, but well, then you'll forget about it. You don't even know me. My brain's amazing for memory. Have he showed you the photo where his LEDs on that he's like already put on? Yes. It looks stunning yes. already. I'll show you the picture again. It looks it looks really Wait, nice. Do you think? I'll show you a picture here. It's um, yeah. Oh, I'll show you the picture. Do it. Here. Literally there, right there. Like around right, somewhere. Somewhere. Somewhere there. <laughs> and if uh, if you haven't already. Um, just press this, uh, press the subscribe button down there. Have you actually put that on yet? The subscribe button? You keep doing the photos and the videos and all this and that, but nothing's coming up. Oh, on the old vlogs? No, no, things come up now. Mm. Here's a picture of younger Ryan off his Facebook. <laughs> Why you got to do that? I mean, what do people come here for? Do they come here... I think do they come for the, for the grass fitting? Um, do they come for the... The trade? Do they come for the camaraderie? No. Or do they come here for the coffee talk? They come for the Welsh boy, who's a, a synopter. How Welsh are you? Fifty. It's not enough. What do you mean it's not enough? Right. Like Mike, his phone's propping up with. Yeah. I swapped it because I'm <sighs> taking mine. Right. Am I a bit sideways? Slightly. It's going to have to do because I'm not going to get the little tripod. Well, basically, on. Uh, yeah, I was talking to my dad yesterday, and. I was like, I don't know what, I, every Thursday, Thursday afternoon, I've got it in my calendar to say, you know, just what, what we're doing this weekend. And she's like, oh, you know, we'll just, uh, we'll see what happens. And I'm like, what do you mean we'll see what happens? She's like, we'll just see where the weekend takes us. And I'm like, no, 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 I want to be taking the weekend. Yeah. I want to know what we're doing. She's like, well, maybe we'll pop to the shop. So I'm like, well, what do you mean we're, well, what, what shop do you want to go to? I don't know, just any, just a shop. We'll just go and have a look. I'm like, look at what? You could look at it on your phone. You could look at it, you know, you could, in your memory from last week when we just popped to a shop to, to see what was going on. You know, what it's all about. Get the vibe. She's like, oh, we'll pop to Ikea. I'm like, nobody pops to Ikea. Ikea is a day out. You gotta sort the transport, you get there, you gotta walk two miles round. You gotta queue for 40 minutes if you want a hot dog at the end. You don't pop to Ikea, do you? Do you have a pop to Ikea, Noel? Yeah. You have a pop there? Yeah. And what's the minimum amount of time you spend? What, how did you do that? Click and oh, <laughs> click and collect, bad boy. <laughs> Back here, so you've already seen the lads showing you the bags. I'm back late. 
Luton Mall. Driving down the road, and I see this big Luton van, and it says Lucas Gardens on the back. Right, little bit of a backstory. For the past six months, this Lucas Gardens have been recommending us to the. I've had customers ringing saying, "Hey, um, I rang Lucas Gardens on some artificial grass, and they've recommended you." And this has happened like three or four times, including this in store that we're on now. Um, and I didn't know who it was, so I see this big Luton van, and I pull up, I get out of the car, and I go over to the van, and he's like, oh, Michael, and I'm like, how do you know me, bro? <laughs> 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 who, who are you? And how, I don't, like, I've been getting loads of jobs from you, thank you, but I, how do you even know who we are? He said he found us on Instagram, and then he's been watching the videos on Facebook, and I believe on YouTube as well, so, um, Lucas, thank you for getting us this job. Um, but it's a very small world, and sometimes like that, and I feel a bit famous. I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I even know how to say it. Like it's just weird. But we finally found out who he is, and uh, nice guy. Let's have another look at the back. If you need any gardening work, phone Lucas. Gardens. You need oh, artificial. Yeah, nice guy, but it's, it's nice to finally put a face right. to the name. It looks good, doesn't it? It looks really good. I like this. The whole aesthetic. Yeah. It's going to look really good once he's got the lights. Yeah. I fancy something like this in my garden. My garden's priority. It's got to be. Do you want to do, what I'm really do, you do my garden as well? What we're just throwing gardens about? We can't do everybody's garden. Oh, right, right, right. Perks would be in the box. Fourthly. Fourthly? We're quiet on that fourthly. Don't do it. Yeah, that looks really good, though. Really tidy. You got some before and after pictures. Or after, you got after pictures. I've got videos. We can take pictures. Let's take a couple of pictures.